cylinder head cleaning, do it safely, do it properly, do it efficiently. I'm going to share with you and demonstrate one of the most efficient ways to clean the carbon deposit and remnants of the old cylinder head gasket. If you're first time to the channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell and you won't miss any videos. Thank you so much for doing that and for this job we're using the paint stripper. You can find this paint type stripper from almost any hardware store, Home Depot, Verona, Home Hardware, yeah, Walmart, they're very popular, but I will tell you, they work amazing. Keep watching the video, I will share very important tips and tricks and step by step show you how to do it properly, because if you miss something, your head gasket might fail. Okay, make sure you both your intake and exhaust wells are closed, apply some paint stripper and start brushing. I'm using a small size paintbrush. Be careful, don't push too hard. As you can see, I even didn't need to soak much. And I straight apply the paint stripper and it's doing amazing job already. Yes, guys, as you can see, it's eating that hard carbon deposit like nothing and it turned into the liquid. Why I said both wells should be closed because you don't want any of that liquid get in between the valve and valve seat and the angle seats should be clean otherwise wells might start leaking as you can see just keep brushing like that and clean and carefully clean cylinder head sealing surfaces as well we're cleaning the combustion chamber but you need to pay special attention be careful with the cleaning those sealing surfaces where the head gasket sits if you decided to use a abrasive paper do not use any grades coarser than 100 grit lower numbers are coarser but i don't recommend you to do that this way it works just amazing use a shop towel to wipe all that residue and we won't be able to clean everything at once we do it step by step you wipe it you clean it and if you still see some remnants left you do it again and wipe it like this see it's way better already and just apply a little bit more if you need it because you need to keep it clean then it's easy to get the process finished okay you see that's coming and just don't rush and very important is cleaning and cleaning is the most time consuming part of the cylinder head or cylinder head gasket replacement process that's very important i will make another video how to check the cylinder head for warpage distortion and wells for leaks i will put a card and link down in the description below this video is all about the cleaning works great for me i'm just sharing and demonstrating with you guys that you don't need to use any kitchen scrap pads that scotch bright stuff scrap sponges dish scrubber or those uh, pads i'm using just a card just to see this like type of credit card and i'm cleaning those cylinder head sealing surfaces be sure to avoid the scratching as you can see where cylinder head gasket will seal that needs to be spotless needs to be clean and that simple card from your grocery chain or gas stations or any other plastic old credit debit card this is perfect for that application and during the cleaning i'm wiping make sure no those debris and dirt will get into those oil and coolant passages be careful clean out yeah that's see it's coming and that's it very important part as you can see we clean that part now we clean in another chamber and our wells are closed okay that's those wells are clean now we need to do some washing 
I use WD-40, works great, and then we can wash all little pieces that left and spray and wipe. But this is not a still end of the video and keep watching. There is a few other important tips for you guys I have. Yeah, spray like that and let it sit for a little while. WD-40 will soak a little bit and keep start wiping. And as I like said, that when you clean all gasket material of the cylinder head, take some precautions to keep all gasket material and abrasive particles if you use those any scrubby pads. But I don't recommend you. You can just use the credit card like I'm using. That's from grocery chain. Just a card and. Keep the dirt out of cooling and oil system passages. Place the clean shop clothes if you need it. Yeah, and keep cleaning. You know, it's just uh, important. I cannot even stress that enough and emphasize how important to do cleaning because cleaning is everything. If you do right cleaning, do a good job, that will always pay. And someone will say, I will use the scrubby pad, some ab abrasive paper. It's fine. It depends on the situation. We're working on an aluminum head. See, I sprayed and I covered with a paper towel. WD-40 wiped out. Now time to do the final cleanup. Use a shop vac or you can use a compressor to do the spotless final touch. And uh, this is a uh, two liters for cylinders Volkswagen engine with aluminum head, but same principles can be applied to almost any engine. And um, next topic will be how to check the wells for leaks, cylinder head for warpage and disturption. We'll apply all factory specs. Will be interesting. I will put a link down in the description. See you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Stay safe, see you soon, bye bye!